The city of Indianola will break ground this week in rebuilding several neighborhoods. The Delta News' Chase Ward reports. Poor and rundown neighborhoods in Indianola will be getting a complete makeover from a project that has been two years in the making. The city has been working with public and private contractors to remodel and renovate blotted areas. The area to be renovated is the Southgate subdivision in the southern part of Indianola. This will be the Southgate Redevelopment LP project in Ward 4 here in Indianola. What is planned is to renovate uh, approximately 67 homes in this area of Southgate uh, in Indianola and eight homes will be built in that area. Uh, this is one of those parts of towns where it is uh, a marginalized area, so this renovation will be the biggest investment in that part of town um, since its inception. Not only will homes be built and renovated, but a community center will be built along with improving the infrastructure to help prevent flooding. The renovations will allow neighborhoods to be more clean and attractive by getting rid of boarded up homes and garbage. Roy Collins Construction has been contracted for the next three years for this project. In this area where we are located at now, that will be uh, one of their centralized offices where they are going to work from. Down here, we're going to have a community center built over there. We got a, a pavilion going to be built here. and We have a playground that are going to be built uh, down here. Eight and a half million dollars will go into this project. The mayor says it will make the city more appealing for economic growth and opportunities. Why is this important? Hey, we have homes like this that are in deplorable condition, boarded up, uh, lacking uh, utilities, lacking infrastructure. So with this project, we're going to have a total overhaul of these houses, houses just like this. The project will be completed in the year 2025. Reporting in Indianola, I'm Chase Ward, Delta News. And groundbreaking will be on Friday morning at 11 a.m. in the Southgate community.